Hello everyone and welcome to Cooking with Miss Brenda and I am so excited we have two, not one, but two really special guests with us today and uh, we have, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have introduced Caden and we have Caden, how old are you Caden? Eight. You're eight years old and uh, what grade are you in? Third grade. Third grade. We have Caden and we have Zakari. And t tell me, you, sometimes you, your nickname is what? Kari. So we just say Kari. Yeah. Kari and Caden. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. And tell me, how old are you? I am 11. You're 11 years old. And what grade are you in? I am in six. In sixth grade. So you said third grade and sixth grade, mm -hmm. right? And um, so tell me your age again. Eight. eight. So we have eight and eleven. And let me to ask you, boys, do you like to cook? Yes. Mm -hmm. You do. What is your favorite thing to cook? Probably brownies, spaghetti, or pasta. Brownies, spaghetti, or pasta. And what about you? Um, cookies and brownies and macaroni sometimes. Do you know you're gonna really like our program next week? Because next week we're going to be baking. Cookies! That's right! <laughs> and it sounds like that's the favorite theme going on here, right? Mm -hmm. And I don't know the ones... Uh, what are we fixing next week that you guys get to vote on which one you like? Um, what, what are our, our choices for next week? And just so you know who I'm talking to, Melissa Hoffman is our general manager uh, for Kids Club for Jesus, and she is behind the camera right now. Also, I want to introduce Ash to you. She is our director of social media all the way. She lives in South Africa, and it is like midnight there right now, and uh, she is um, uh, standing by to answer any questions as well. So, um, uh, Melissa, what is our choices for next week? Craisin raisin cookies. Mm -hmm. Pecan pie cookies. Pecan pie cookies. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's a good one. Apricot thumbprint cookies. Apricot thumbprint cookies. And pumpkin ginger snap cookies. Pumpkin mm -hmm. ginger snap cookies. And mm -hmm. I can tell you, you can't go wrong with any of those. Those are going to be, what, what do you think your favorite is? Uh, I think it's going to, I'm going to go for the pecan. The, mm -hmm. the pecan uh, think, pie for cookies? Yeah. What about you? The pumpkin. The pumpkin um, uh, ginger snaps? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh. And it's kind of the kind of year where you think about having, you know, it's fall in the United States. It's not fall everywhere around the world, but in the United States, it's getting to be fall here and uh, the season. And fall brings about a lot of taste for pumpkin and apples and, and pecans. And, mm -hmm. and I say pecan, you say pecan, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not, it's not a right or wrong way to say it. In America, we can say pecan, pecan, potato, potato, you know, um, tomato, tomato. I mean, you know, it's all good. So I'm going to ask, what are we fixing today, boys? We are uh, fixing ballpark ball park pinwheels. pinwheels. Ballpark pinwheels. That's the recipe that won. And uh, so, Kari, why don't you read uh, this recipe for us? Look right in there and, and okay. uh, say it nice and loud. And I'm going to get us connected so I can see who's joining us, okay? Okay. So you go right ahead. All right. We will need a one-fourth cup of onion finely diced, one clove, clove of garlic minced, minced, um, one in twenty ounce can. Yep. Uh -huh. Yeah. Of your, your favorite, favorite veggie, veggie burger veggie or veggie dogs. dogs. Yeah. One fourth ounce of can can chop, chopped green chilies. Two tablespoons of jalapeno nacho slices diced. Mm -hmm. One teaspoon of organa. Agave nectar. Uh, agave nectar. Mm -hmm. One teaspoon of chili powder. One teaspoon of taco seasoning. One. What is it? Uh, taco seasoning, yes. Uh huh. Green olives. Yeah. And uh -huh. one and a half. Uh, a half cup of green olives. Green olives uh -huh. sliced. One teaspoon of ag agave nectar. One can of refrigerated biscuit dough. So now let me share something with you guys. You don't have to write down any of that because go to our website, kidsclubforjesus.org, kidsclubforjesus.org, and the recipes are there. Not only for today's recipe, but all the recipes we've done in the past are all there. So you can just go there and print them off and you don't have to write down the thing. So you can just relax and enjoy the program. Uh, I love to for you, uh, if you have any questions at all, go ahead and type those into us and I'll see them right here on my iPad. 
and I'll try to answer them. And also let me know who's watching and where you're watching from. I'm sure Kari and Caden would like to know where around the world the people are joining us. Wouldn't that be fun? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So make sure you tell us where you're watching. We have Gerald Mancia is watching, and, and it says Alex and Ariana are there. And so we want to say hi to Alex and Ariana. Mm -hmm. Want to say uh, hi to them? Hello. Oh, hello. And let's see. Um, and they think that pecan sounds pretty good, too. And Randy Phipps, can you say hi to Randy? Hello, Randy. Hello. And also Rhonda Bernard is watching. And Rhonda's watching from Houghton Lake, Michigan with her grandniece, Adelaide. So we want to say hi to Adelaide, too. Hello, Hello Adelaide. Adelaide. And Rhonda. And Hello, Hello, Rhonda. And, and, um, and let's see, Vasti is watching us. Vasti, where are you from? Let's know. And uh, Randy Phipps, my good friend, Randy Phipps. Hello, Randy. Can we Hello, say hi to Randy? Randy? Hello. Can we tell you something about Randy? He is a prayer warrior. And he, every week he will text me and say, what would you like me to pray for this week? Isn't that a wonderful ministry, just praying mm -hmm. for others? Boys and girls, we need to be praying for others. Don't just think of yourself when you're praying or your own family, but let's pray for other people as well. And God, God wants us to think of mm -hmm. others, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. And let's see. So um, Gerald is watching. Gerald, tell us where you're watching from. Basti mm -hmm. said she's watching from Florida. So I think I want to just I'll keep tabs on you here as we get the recipe going. But first of all, you can use for this recipe any of your favorite uh, veggie dogs. So I know that there's quite a few different brand names out there. Uh, the one we're using today is Vegilinks. It's a very soft one and it's easy to work with, has a good flavor. Uh, you can use any of your favorites, so it doesn't have to be. Now, if you're using a firmer hot dog, then you'll probably, this is a, kind of a softer hot dog. If you're using a firmer one, you will want to go ahead and use your food processor. But because this is so soft, we're going to use this one. And um, you want to see if you can pry this, this maybe, maybe you, you're good at strong. Let's, let's see how strong you are. Can you get that can right off? Can you get that lid right off? Let's see. Oh, you have to spin it? I don't know. Let's see. Maybe it will be easy. All right, but how about you? Want to try? Let, yeah. let Car Kari's try? This? You uh -huh. have to get this off? Yeah, can you, you're strong enough to break a can, aren't you? Almost. Oh, hey. look at there. Really trying really hard. Okay, I got a little trick for you. It's just a lift off one. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that fun? <laughs> I have a special can opener that is safe because these edges don't cut you. Mm -hmm. And so they, 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 so it's safe for you. So I want you to take this and I want you to drain all this. is I have a sink right here, so drain all the, the juice in the sink right here. Yep, just you can turn it upside down so all the juice goes there. That's good. And we don't have two microphones, but I think because we sandwich Caden in between Kari and myself, and I think, let us know how, how he's sign it, uh, sounding. So, do we get all that out, upside down? Shake it a little bit, we got it all out? Good job. Okay, so now, what we're gonna do is I'm going to uh, have you put your gloves on. Okay. And um, let me put this on right here. And so we put our gloves on, and that way we keep everything nice and clean. Okay, mm -hmm. I read these are my kitchen gloves. I use them for, for all. I keep a box of disposable gloves under my sink here and I use them all the time. Um, especially if I'm chopping onions because I don't really like raw onion smell and I sure don't like it on my hands. So, so, so let's see, you can get your thumb in this one right here. Let's see. Yep, good job. You'll make it here. Let's see here. Yep. Did you know that I used to, I'm a registered nurse, and I used to work in surgery for a couple of years, and I had to put these on all the time, and let's see, um, let's put your, oops, let's do that, wait a minute, let's do this one, here we go, all right, go ahead and put your hands down in there, this is the way the nurses would do for the doctors, so, here we go, boy, this is, this is a, this is a challenge, isn't it? You got, yeah, you don't want, yeah, you want one finger per, yep, that's right. Good job. All right. How's, how are you doing over there? You got them on? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Now I want you to put, um, let's see, how many are in there? Looks like 10. 10. So you take five and you take five 
And so you take five in this dish and you take five in this dish, okay? okay. And then um, we're, gonna, we're going to mash One, those up. Now, if you have a food processor and you want to do them in the food processors, okay. you can do that fine. But as I said, these are pretty soft. And so we'll just dump the rest of those in your... That's perfect. Oops. Oh. Yep, good to the last drop right there. All right, so now you can do a couple things. Here's what we want to do. I'm going to show you. I'm going to take one right here and show you how they just mash up like that. Mm -hmm. See? Mm -hmm. And you can take them just with your fingertips. Just keep mashing those up and just with your fingertips. Or you want to get it really fine, you can mash it with a fork. So whatever it is that you're having fun with doing, you can do it with your fingers. I think today's sample, um, I, I made them with... Um, just using my fingertips so you can go ahead and try that so with that the goal is is to get them really really squishy like that see how and you want to just show them how let me see why don't you take this and really 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 soft you're going to just get them. so there's no big clumps and now you can show them on the go stand and it, melissa will tell you where to hold it and so that everyone can see it no down and then tilt it just a little bit. So yeah, tilt it so you can see, but bring your hand back this way. There All right. That's perfect. Okay, so now you can see. All right, it's so really, nope, okay, good. So now go ahead and just keep doing that. Um, and uh, let's see who else has joined us. Um, and Randy's telling us that he is from Florence, Kentucky, and he's uh, located in Northern Kentucky in the greater Cincinnati, Ohio area. And let's see, uh, Basti is from Florida, and Gerald is from Stanford Gap Road. Hello, Gerald. And let's see, we have Yvonne Dunn is watching. Yvonne, where are you from? Roseanne is watching us, and Linda Wilkinson. We have Christina, and uh, we also have Jorge is watching, Veronica, and also Ken Mayberry. So let us know where you guys are from, okay? Love hearing hear where you're from. And also, if anybody has recipe ideas that you would like to see made on this program, please submit them to me. My, um, you can submit them on our Facebook page, Kids Club for Jesus. And there's a message right there. You can put a message in and say, I would like to have you make bread, or I would like to have you make pie, or I really hope you're making a, a, a program on you know chili or stews or soups or whatever it is. Just, and I'm sure Melissa is the one that picks the themes out every time. And I'm sure she would appreciate some ideas. What do you think, Melissa? Oh, if we're up to me, I mean, if, if, I would like to have pie every week. Oh, I she, to, you know, yeah, Melissa's pie. saying she has, a, she has a microphone on, so I have to repeat it. But she loves pie, loves pie. So she's saying if it was up to her, she'd have pie every week. <laughs> I mean, it is up to me, but I'm trying to, you know, um. mix it up. Yeah, so she said, if that's if she was thinking of herself, let me put that. But she is so, she's got Jesus in her heart and she's thinking of everybody else. And not everybody mm -hmm. likes pie, right? Mm -hmm. Do you know when I went to Australia, um, and I go, I've been going to Australia for oh, quite a few years now, and I, they have some wonderful food there. And I was really surprised because when I told them I wanted pie, you know what, they, what I got? I got lentil pie with mashed potatoes and peas on top. And it was that, and gravy, and it was actually really good. But that's what you call a savory pie, you know? And that's more like an entree that you would eat. What do you think of that, Caden? Mm -hmm. Would you, have you ever had a savory pie? What's something that you think of as a savory pie? Savory? Mm-hmm. You know, like something you'd eat for dinner or lunch, not necessarily for dessert. Like a um, chicken pot pie. Very good, chicken pot pie. That's a savory pie. That's right. So there's mm -hmm. there's lots of different um, kinds of pies and savory pies, and um, and a lot of sweet pies. I think in America we tend to think when we say pie, I think we immediately think about something sweet. What do you boys oh, think? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we don't necessarily immediately think of something savory, right? You're mm -hmm. doing both of you a good job over there. Keep on. You can now just keep on mashing that up really really fine, because you'll see why we need it really fine. This is a great job for a food processor, too, but it's not near as much fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I like to have the fun. What do you think, Caden? Uh, yeah. Me too. So, Caden, tell me, what type of um, uh, activities do you like to do for fun? Well, we like to do um, basketball and um, 
Basketball? You're a pretty big ba basketball player? Mm-hmm. And we like to do some art. Art? What kind of art? Like some... Coloring. Coloring Like art? we trace we other... Trace. Like Have you ever pictures. done oil paintings? Um, no. I'm an, I'm an artist, too. And you see these paintings over here in my house and the paintings over there? Those are, those are my paintings that I painted. Uh-huh. <laughs> After the program, I'll show you the rest of them, okay? Mm -hmm. my, my house is full of paintings. And, and um, when I moved here, I haven't been in this house very long. There's, there's not even enough wall space for all my paintings, so I had to just put them away. But I did have them hanging everywhere. Let's see. Um, and Veronica says, um, Adrian is watching from Australia. Boys, say hi to Adrian. Hello. Hello, Hello Adrian. And then Rose Roseanne is watching from Kansas, and she said she, we made your pad thai vegetable recipe today, and it's really good. Oh, I'm so glad you like that. That's what we fixed last week, wasn't it? Was pad thai? That's delicious, isn't it? And it's easy to make. It's easy to make. We don't try to just find the most difficult recipes here. Uh, I've created all the recipes that we um, that we're showing. And I can tell you that I tried to make them as easy so anybody could follow the recipe and make it. And I really try hard to do that. And uh, Veronica is saying, please, if you can, make a blueberry muffin. And that's for Adrian. So Adrian would like to have a blueberry muffin. Mm. You know who else likes blueberry muffins? Melissa. She loves blueberry anything. Yeah, I make her a blueberry pie or a blueberry muffin. She likes that. You know, Oh, that's true. I have a blueberry muffin cake that is delicious. In fact, we should probably put that out there as a theme for one of these times because it is really, really good. And you know, my I have a I have two grandsons, mm. and my oldest grandson Michael loves blueberry pie. That's his very favorite. He loves it. So when I want to do something special for him, he has a birthday coming up in a couple of weeks. I'm sure mm. I'm going to make him blueberry pie. Mm -hmm. I made him an apple pie last night. Um, okay, so. Now this looks really, really good. You want to take this now. You can take the spatula, and you can put that all in that big bowl, okay? This one? Yep, take this, and you put it all in the big bowl. So you, and you I can, can take my gloves off? Huh? Um, well, no, you, what, yes, you can. You can. There's a garbage can right here, and you can just go over there and just put your gloves in there. Did, didn't they do a good job? I think we're going to give them a great big hand, yes. So let's throw that in there. And... Good to the last drop, Caden. Yep, good job. Do you know I'm so excited, boys and girls? Um, I leave tomorrow to, I'm going to be speaking this coming weekend in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And I'm really excited about that. The morning service, I'll be in Grand Rapids. And then in the afternoon, I will be at 5.30, our praise and worship that I always do here. Well, we will still have our praise and worship program only we will, and it will be at 5.30, uh, streamed on Facebook on my Brenda Walsh Ministries page. Only we will be streaming live from the Holland 7th Day Adventist Church in Michigan. So I'm excited about that. You want to Brenda. wash your hands, boys? Do you need, need this at all? Yeah. yeah I'll wash okay. Hands. And then, um, whoops, we got a little right here. And we got, just so you know, our counter is clean. Okay, so now let me get you another spatula over here. You want to get that red spatula over there when you're done? Oh, here's a, here's a towel for you. Here's a towel for you. Let's just cut that out. So we always, in a kitchen, we want clean hands, right, boys? Mm -hmm. Is that your mama tell you that? We yep. got to wash our hands before we do anything, yep. right? Yep. Okay. Now, my mama was strict about that, too. But what I was going to tell you is I'm so excited because when I come back, I'm actually driving to Michigan this trip instead of flying because when I come back, I'm bringing my mama. And she's going to be staying with me for the winter. So I'm going to have her on some cooking programs. You can better believe that. Because guess who taught me to cook? My mama. That's right. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so now this is the fun part, boys. We have onions and garlic. Now let me just share something with you. If you like raw onions and raw garlic, you can skip this process. I do not care for raw onions or garlic. I've never met a raw onion I like or, or raw garlic. So I took the liberty of already sauteing the onions and the garlic together because I like it done. But there's many people that say, hey, I like to just chop up my onion fine, dice my garlic in there, and I like it. And it will be a good flavor if you enjoy that flavor, you know. <laughs> For me, it's not. So I'm, I'm taking the liberty of cooking it. So we're going to put in, and you boys can take turns, um, uh, just everything goes in the bowl. So we have our onions. You can put those in um, 
uh, Caden. And these are green olives. Um, Carla, you can put in. And then we have our jalapenos. Oh, oh, you want it. You want to do yep, thing. just use your spatula and you can use yours. You can both, you dump on this side of the bowl, he dumps on that side of the bowl. It all, as long as it all goes in the bowl, we're good, right? Mm -hmm. You'll need to hang on to this because you're going to need that. Okay, mm -hmm. so now this is our Cholula sauce and a little um, hot sauce. And this is our jalapenos. Put those in there. And we also you have... Just keep using this? Yeah, use it get over and over again. You just guess what you're going to use to... That's your tool of choice to get all the all the ingredients in the bowl, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Then we have some uh, t taco seasoning. You dump the chili powder in. And then we have some agave nectar. And you might want to use this to get the agave nectar out, okay? Mm -hmm. and, and let's tap that to get all that goodness out there. And you want to just scrape this so we get all the last. My mama might be watching right now. In fact, I think she is. So we got to get to the last drop, she says. And then I have a challenge for you. Who wants to see if you can open this can? All right. I'm gonna. I think he's gonna probably the pop up one again. Huh? Okay. I'm not telling. Let's see. Let's see. You got that good? All right. All right. Yeah, it's kind of I think all right. that's all I can get. Okay. Good. So who wants to see if you can, um, if you can get that open? Oop. Yes. Very good. All right. Okay. Now all that goes in there. All right. Okay. All this. Yes, all that goes in there, and you can use your spatula there. Here's a towel for you. I think I'll you. use the green one. It's more thin. I can do yeah, a little there. thinner one that you can do. Okay. And let's see. Then we also um, want to now, um, Kari, if you want to just stir that up, okay? Mm -hmm. And let's see. Let me get uh, one teaspoon out of here, a tablespoon out of here. Oops, it's a half one. Okay, this one is great. So now we're going to mix that up really, really good. This is a fun recipe, isn't it? And you can mm -hmm. see, I don't you like recipes that are just really easy? You're just going to dump it all in, mm -hmm. squish it all up, make sure it's all mixed up good. Mm -hmm. And you can't go wrong with that, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. So you kind of keep on mixing that. And while you're doing that, um, Caden, let me just ask if you can take this. Is, now, this is um, Pillsbury Southern Homestyle Biscuit Dough, okay? And, um, and so you're going to just, let's see if we can start this right here, and gently pull this thing. Let's see. Okay. So you're going to real carefully, gently, we're going to tear this thing right here, okay? Keep tearing and keep pulling so we can all go around. Good job. Keep pulling. You're doing a good job and a great job over there. You're doing too, mixing that all up. Keep on mixing. You're doing really good. Yep. Yeah. And he's, look at, he's getting that off. Yep, keep doing that. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. And now here comes the fun part. Because you see where that arrow is? You're going to just whack it as hard as you can right on the edge of this, right where that arrow is. I wanted to see that down that line. Needs to meet that line right there. See how? So we're going to give you a, 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 a countdown. Let's see. You think he can do this, Kari? Yeah, I think you he think can. You think he can? Because you got to whack it. You're going to have to. Are you pretty strong? Yeah, he's pretty strong. Oh, you're, how strong are you? He's pretty strong. Very strong. You're very strong? Okay, so you know how you're going to hit that right there? Not down mm -hmm. here, but right there. It's got to hit right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's give him a countdown. Three. Come on, count with me, Kari. Yeah. Three, Three, two, two one. one, go. Oh, I got a great. Oh, oh, there you did it. Good job. All right, so now we're going to just take those off and look. And these are what that looks like. Now, I have made these with my homemade biscuit. And, um, and they do work better with these because my homemade biscuits are really light and fluffy and flaky. Mm -hmm. So these work a little bit better than that. But now we're going to take a rolling pin and we're going to squish them. Um, you're going to roll it out into a rectangle. So do you want to try this, Kari? All right. All right. So let's put this over here for right now. And you're going to um, 
I'm going to make do one here so that you can see. So you want to do it in a rectangle that's kind of like four by, um, and, and if it's not a perfect shaped rectangle, it won't matter. Okay, so about like that. Mm -hmm. So you take one over there and start that. And you are going to take a tablespoon of this and you're going to here you're going to meet the edge on this side but i need you to leave a half an inch and i'll tell you why in a minute half an inch of plane right here so you're going to take from here down and you're take about two tablespoons of this and when you go like this get another tablespoon i made it two okay so you need to make sure can you get it in the square come over here so people can see you mm -hmm. okay so all right let's see so here let's so that we can kind of get it into a square, let me just you can do, go like that too, yeah. and that's just like that, perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now you can see what he's doing. We're going to leave, we're going to leave this much plain, and you're going to um, actually let's start here. Um, we'll well, you leave this oh, much plain over here, but don't put it over here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so get you a couple tablespoons of this, mm -hmm. and start right here. Okay. But you want to leave about a half an inch on this end. Okay. Don't put anything over there. About yep. on my finger? Yep, that's it. And I'll tell you why. Because when you roll this up, you need that half an inch so that the dough can stick together and hold that pinwheel shape. Because if you don't, then um, when it bakes, it just flies right open and it bakes without being a pinwheel. Huh. pinwheel. So you, that's a tricky, that's one of those little tricks I'm teaching you that's really important. All right, let's see if anybody is, um, has joined us again and has okay. any questions. Um, Roseanne says um, she's from Kansas. Let's see, Veronica says to make the blueberry muffin from Adrian. And Gerald would like to have free tasting, please. And who's watching us here? Clara. Clara Hill Beam is watching. Clara Hill, where are you from? And uh, so Lena is watching. Where are you from, Lena? And Sylvia Hobbs, tell us where you're from, Sylvia. And Cynthia, Cynthia is watching, and we don't know where Cynthia is from either. All right, I think I'm and Jovial J. Ann is watching. Jovial J. Ann. And let's see. Uh, and it says, Sylvia says, the kids will always have this great memory with me. Oh, that's wonderful. And Trudy Carter's watching. And guess who's watching? Somebody really special. This is Kevin Majewski is my Australian manager, and he's watching all the way in Australia. Can you say hi to Mr. Kevin? Hello. Hi, hi Mr. Mr. Kevin. And he is such, you know what I love about Kevin is he's so funny. He is set, he's so talented. He's an incredible photographer, too. But he is the best manager, and he's so funny. He makes <laughs> me laugh. And then we have um, Flossie is watching as well. So you guys let me know where you're all from, okay? All right, so this looks pretty good. All right, so now what you're going to do, you can stick your little things in here for a minute because you're going to come back to it. And you're going to roll up this side first, Kari, mm -hmm. and do what I'm going to help him do. We're going to roll this up. So you got to go like this and lift it up and, wait a minute, and tuck it in because we want to make a wheel. So you're going to just tuck it in. And I'll help you with this first one, and then you're going to make another one all by yourself. How's that? Mm-hmm. Okay, so we just keep tucking it in really tight, nice and tight, tucking it in, tucking it in, tucking it in. Then when you get over to this side, and I want to show the camera this, okay, yeah. you want to you want to kind of touch that and blend that mm -hmm. together. See this? Mm -hmm. Can you do this? You want to just make sure that's sealed because if it's not sealed, when it bakes, it flies open. And it bakes that way all it, it you does you don't have a pinwheel shape at all. And so let's see here. Now let me get a a cutting board and let's see here. And by the way, I have my oven turned on to four hundred degrees. And I think we could probably even do this on here. Okay. And so now make sure that's pinched tight. Did you does that look tight? tight to you it looks pretty mm -hmm. good now we're going to get a sharp knife does your mom let you have a knife in the kitchen um no not all the time okay so i'll i'll handle the knife this time okay mm -hmm. um well i had a little girl that was seven years old and she, she said she was her mom's sous chef and she handled a knife under her mom's supervision but that was seven years old i 
I don't know, but she did a good job. All right, so I'm, you're going to cut it in half, and you're going to use a serrated knife. It, it looks like a little scalloped edge. Not a straight one, but a serrated one. What kind? Serrated one. Good job. And now we're going to cut it in six pieces. So we cut it in half, and then the, each half gets cut two more times. Okay? And then we're going to have, I have a, a skillet right here. Cynthia has just joined us. Yes. From Texas, and she wants to know the name of the recipe. Oh, Cynthia from Texas. I took my nurse's training in Texas, in Dallas. And I love Texas. My daddy pastored quite a few churches in Texas. Um, and I'm so glad you joined us. We are making, you, boys, what, can you tell Miss Cynthia what we're making? All right. Ballpark, ballpark pinwheels. Ballpark pinwheels, okay? So now, let's see. So I have a silpat. People have asked me what this is, and it's a little mat. Like, it looks, feels like a rubber mat. And when you have that, you don't have to put any spray or anything down. Oh, okay? cool. I feel like it's already sprayed. It feels that way, but it's not. So then I'm going to just put some of these right here very carefully. You space them at least two inches apart because they, they when they rise. Okay? okay? And put them right here. And you want to put the other one right here. Good job. And, I, and Kari, I'm going to have you hold this up to the camera right where Melissa tells you so that you can... Um, Show everybody how that's supposed to look like, okay? Okay. So now let's um, put this over here. And let me cut this right here. We're going to cut it. What are we going to do now? Cut it. We're going to cut it in half. And then what? Two more and times on each side, is, right? Yep. And I just, I just had my knife sharpened yesterday, so it goes really nice. So you can see how nice and round. You, good job, Kari. Bless you. Thank you. Okay, oh, so. Oh, you might want to wash your hands, Kane. I didn't know. Okay. I know you saw okay, so hands. right over here. And so right there and right here. And we're going to bake that at 400 oh, degrees. That's okay. I'm going to, he's going to lay on the side and we'll show what that looks like, okay? Uh -huh. um, we're going to bake it for 10 minutes at 400 degrees in this oven. And um, so we're going to ask. Siri right here. Hey Siri, set timer 10 minutes. For how long? 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes and counting. All right, so now we got our timer on. All right, so now I want to try that again. And let's, and you guys, I'm going to let um, Caden, you do this by yourself. So as soon as these roll through rolling it out, you can roll yours out. The other thing you can do, if it's easier, and you want to try this, Caden, Sometimes I just pat it out like this. Mm -hmm. You don't even need a rolling pin. Just go ahead and pat it in the shape that you need it with the with the ball of your hand. All right, yep. I got my. Yep, you can. I got it. it a little slanted, or you. That's can okay. That's okay. But come over this way so. Yep, you can see. Um, that's good. And let me have it in square in front of you. Come over this way. Mm -hmm. Right here. Yeah. Okay. Good job. So okay, so now spoon. you're ready for that. But come this side here. You don't want to be back in front of the camera. There you go. So everyone can see you. Good job. Okay. Okay, just you can even press it with your fingers. See? Mm -hmm. Good job. Okay, now you're ready for your... You remember how you have to leave that space on the end? Okay. Do you, have, you understand why now? Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Yep, that's why. And we'll put that over there. So we'll save the recipe because, guess what? The... Um, uh, Kari and Caden's mom and dad are here and in just a few minutes when we get ready to show our finished product we're going to invite them to come out and be our taste testers okay and you'll get to meet the, the parents of these wonderful boys and uh, boys do you, do you love Jesus yes mm -hmm. is he your best friend yes mm -hmm. amen all right okay so we start so, right here so now you do it by yourself that looks good good job boy he is thorough I couldn't tell you that Mom, if you're watching, can you see? Does, it doesn't even remind me of me being so particular about everything. So, growing up, I was always picky. Okay, so you can put this in here now, and now start rolling it up. Remember, tight. You want to ro lift it up a little bit, and then tuck it in, and, and roll it up tight like a wheel. Okay? One, two. And pinch it. You kind of like pinch it together and, and turn at the same time. Mm -hmm. You see? Can you do that? And how are you doing over there? Uh, yeah, 
Making it work. Making it work. Hey, that's good. That's important, isn't it? Okay. Let's see here. Who else we have watching with us? Um, so, um, uh, Jovial JN, don't forget to tell us where you're from. And let's see who else we have. Elaine Rich is joining us. Hello. And, um, and Kevin says, I'm too kind, but really I'm, I could brag on and on and on about him. And uh, Kevin has, if, you've, if you have a tickle in your throat or you have, you know, a, a cough at all, sometimes just a, you're, you're maybe thirsty and you're not, you don't have water, but you kind of get a tickle in your throat. Or if you're not feeling well and you've got a sore throat, my Australian manager makes the most amazing lozenges that are healthy for you made out of a special kind of honey. You can only find this honey in New Zealand. Wow. In fact, Kevin, can you just put on the comments here the name of your company and how people could order it if they want because it is really good for you. And I like to share information when I know something's really awesome. I like to share it with you. So, uh, Lubimba is watching. Lubimba, where, where are you from? You and Carrie is that. watching. And and my friend Jeannie Lewis is watching. And we also have Denise from Ontario, Canada. And uh, Beth. And, um, oh, I'm just so many people joining us today. Okay, so how are we doing? Let's put this over here. Are we ready to cut? Mm -hmm. so, so here we go. And we're going to just cut it into the pinwheels. And I'm going to have you take one of these. And you did such a good job. Hold it like this and go over. And Melissa is going to tell you how to show it on the camera that people can see the inside of your pinwheel. Should we do one for you over here? Uh -huh. All right. And we'll let Kari show you his. And let's see. Kari, you want to show them, show them yours? Okay. you got to pinch it like that so that you can oh, yeah. see it. And then... There you go. So you got one here. Didn't those boys do a good job? Very good job. So we can finish those up later. Right now, aren't you excited to have the finished product? And Kari, would you just go over there and show? Um, uh, okay. Oh, these boys are are clean. I gotta tell you, I am so impressed. Anything on their hands, they are washing that off. And I'm really proud of you. So here's a towel for you. Thank yep. You. Um, isn't that fun? You just hit the faucet off and on. <laughs> so Melissa tells me when she goes home, she hits, it, keeps whacking her faucet, and it's not turning on. <laughs> so, all right. So go over there. Uh, and so, now bring it back, and she's going to show you where to, to to put it. Isn't that a real pretty dish that I have right there? That dish is so nice. Um, this dish was given to me by my very precious friends, Reed and Gerda von Mauer in um, Germany. They live in Frankfurt, Germany. And I teach at their uh, AFCO Europe School of Evangelism each year, and I've been teaching there a lot of years. Um, and they gave me this and surprised this, me with this, and I brought it, wrapped it up really careful, and brought it on my carry-on on the way home. I wanted to be so careful because it's, it's so fragile. But isn't that pretty? I love, oh, yeah. I love, I love things with birds. I collect I like a lot of birds. birds. So that is so nice. So now let's invite mom and dad to come out here. Mom and dad, I don't think they want to. Mom and dad don't want to come out and taste today? <laughs> no, I'll bring it to them. I'll bring it to them. No, no, no. We, right. we, we, we'll, we'll show them after. So are you sure you don't want to come out and just say hi? No, they're being a little bit shy. Okay. That's all right. That's all right. Well, you boys want shy, are you? You want to take a taste? Why don't you take, right. take one and each of you take a bite right. and then look right in that camera. Let everybody tell it and then tell people what you think of it. See? Mm -hmm. Look in the camera. Right there. What do you think? Oh, don't talk with your mouth full, huh? See, these boys are polite. <laughs> you can give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. What do you think? Oh, we got a two thumbs up. Two thumbs up from you too? Yep. I think that's pretty good. That's a pretty good uh, um, uh, uh, approval rating right there, I think. Would you want... Oh, it's a 10. You want to show the camera that? Mm -hmm. No, no. Show me your 10. Oh. <laughs> well, I want to thank you guys so much for joining me today. It was so fun having you on the program. And I, I tell you, it's really nice to see such polite young men 
and and ones that know how to be clean in the kitchen because I'm picky in the kitchen. I I want to have my things in the kitchen have to be really, really clean. Mm -hmm. I like things really clean because that's important, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And that's an important part of cooking. Well, I've already shared with you next week's recipe, so you can, they're out in a, right as soon as we go off um, the, the air, you can, the link is already there. You can already cast your vote. We already know how these boys, boys are voting. And uh, so you get a chance to decide what we are making for next week. And I'm really excited about it. I, I like all of those, obviously, because I love cookies too. And I, and I created all of them. So I don't think you can go wrong with any of them. But I do have a favorite. I don't think I'm going to say, though. I do have a favorite. Melissa probably knows what it is, but I am not telling. We're going to have to wait and see. So anyway, I want to thank you boys for joining us. I want to encourage you to please join, to check out our website, kidsclubforjesus.org. Come over here real close to me, guys. Kidsclubforjesus.org. And boys, you've been to our website. What do you think of our website? It's That's good. good. It's good. Do you have a favorite thing you like on the website? You can t tell the boys and girls watching. Um, I like the video, the cooking videos. The cooking videos. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have lots of cooking videos. Not only this show, but also we have Chef Ani. And she does a really good job, doesn't she? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she does. Well, um, I also want to encourage you, moms and dads and, and uh, the adults that are watching, to really prayerfully consider how God would have you support this ministry. We're a, a, a self-supporting ministry. We are a tax-exempt 501c3. And uh, we have five employees. We're all working 10 jobs to make it happen. And I can tell you that we need um, your prayers and your financial support so that we can keep doing what we're doing and that we can keep adding new programs every week, which we're doing. In fact, if you haven't, we just added a new program called God's Amazing Animals. Go to our website, check that out, and you guys are going to love it. And we're going to keep adding more and more programs every week. So I want to thank you so much for joining us. Remember to keep cooking, eat healthy, and... Remember, yeah. boys and girls, it's kids' time, time to share Jesus. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.